how many coins and how much tech can you get done in a heroic anthem as you're noticing the timer on the screen our heroic anthem is ending just a little bit under two hours and that's gonna be it so the two things that i'm gonna talk in this video and i'm gonna detail my strategy and everything that i used on heroic anthem crystal technology and how many coins did i manage to get in a heroic anthem Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and in this video I'm going to detail how many coins I managed to get in my Heroic Ante with a minimum investment. As you all know, I've spent £98 on the Crystal Technology on the pop-up bundles and I'm also going to detail my strategy on how I upgraded my technology. Now the first thing is how many coins I managed to acquire. As you're noticing, I have 59,100 coins. We are losing this KVK and I managed to get two blueprints. That's around 360,000 plus, let's say, 60,000. So that's 420,000 coins that I managed to acquire with a 98 pound investment. I think that's pretty solid if you want to put it like that. Considering this, on the second KVK, even if I spend or not, I could have get a design like a city design, something that players are looking forward. And I also done a video like, which is the best legendary design that you can acquire from this. Now, considering that we are losing, it has been quite a while since I haven't done any Bastion quest because none were available. So I think it is more than 10 days since I haven't done any Bastion quest, so probably 15, but about 10 days for sure. Pretty much a lot of crystal I lost because I wasn't able to do any of these Bastions or a lot of these bastions i did complete some of them to the level 10 which were in the starting area but the majority of them there was nowhere to complete if i go into my crystal right now you notice that i have 14,000 crystal and no packs i used everything this is my last crystal tech that i'm going to speed up and there's going to be another 2,000 coins and that's going to be it for me and heroic anthem for a while now you're probably wondering and you're asking this question why did you spend speed ups to max the tech since your kvk is over well first of all this is one resource that you need in heroic anthem this is one reason why you're playing heroic anthem so you can uh, buy as many things as you can from this shop now even if you don't want to buy at least try to make the most out of it so personally any kind of crystal that I would make in Heroic Anthem, I would spend the research speed ups because as more of these coins you have, as more things you can buy from this shop. So, for example, in the next KVK, what well, if I'm going to do Heroic Anthem next KVK with this alt account, I can probably get another two blueprints and I can save another 60,000, or probably I'll be able to do even more tech and I can probably get three blueprints or who knows how much because I just have this 61,000 saved up. So the more coins you make, the better. Going on to the research technology, as you're noticing, the fundamental technology looks almost done. So WTF to that. Because we were losing towards the end of the KVK, I went for the cheapest one that I still had the cheapest to try to get as much coins value as possible. Right now, I believe that wheelbarrow is the cheapest that I can do. Now, my strategy was I got the cultural exchange and the treaties 7 out of 10. And to get them further, it was requiring the production management to level 10. And it was requiring the grinding to level 10. And I said that this quite a huge investment while we are still a lot in war and battles to get treaties and cultural exchange to level 10. So I can get uh, more crystal earned and more favor. 7 out of 10 was enough. Same was with the wheelbarrow was 7 out of 10. As you're noticing, skillful operation, travel rations, military training, they were all 7 out of 10. Same with the tactical innovation, 7 out of 10, because they were all requiring the grinding. But it was a lot of crystal to go for. And because of the war and we still had a lot of battles and so on, I decided to invest a lot in the military technology. As you notice, 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, that you're probably thinking, hold on, why did you invest it in Siege? 
Well, the reason I invested in Siege is because, like I said, we were losing. So I was just looking for anything that is cheap, <laughs> anything that is cost less crystal. But my Siege was only 5 out of 10. I went heavy on the archers, on the cavalry units that I was using on the battlefield. It was a million crystals to get the level 9 done. So I suppose that any kind of level 9, it cost a million crystals. You can see over here to get another 3% on calves, 1 million crystal. That's quite a lot. Now, the reason that some of this is not yet done is because if I want to improve the defense, it requires the level 10. And if I want to go further and I want to do the call to arms, it requires wheelbarrow and skillful operations. That's why I kind of stopped on this side. Marching orders requires call to arms level 7. Then I could have done tourniquet, but it only gives me 350 coins. And like I said, the battles were almost over. So this is what I would advise you. Go on to fundamental technology. Get like 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10. 710 710 on all of them because it's really cheap and you kind of benefit a lot from all of this and once you get to the military tech you want to get as much as possible done now if you're going to buy the bundles or a lot of bundles then pretty much you're going to get everything done but i say that with 98 pounds what i spent i think I'm, i was pretty solid i done 40 million kills or more than 41 or 41 million kills or something like that to be honest, it was really good and probably more than I needed. And I do have to say one thing. In our KVK, Barbarians didn't drop crystals and forts didn't drop crystals either. So for us, that was a minus. And for people that are going into Heroic Anthem now, that is a plus. If you're wondering that if you should go like 7 out of 10 straight off the bat, no, what I have done right at the beginning, I just went 5 out of 10. I made sure that when the level four pass open i had call to arms one so this one was done and i believe the tourniquet yes this the tourniquet was also done this definitely helps you out resource cost and another 10 percent troops capacity so on the level four pass open i had 330k marchers with tourniquet done and i believe that probably one two one two or something like that that was as far as i managed to get with um just the few bundles that I bought. Now, how to upgrade the building? Because I was mentioning that the 19 pounds that I spent was just on the pop-up bundles. Should you upgrade your crystal mine straight off to level 25 or the research center? No, you shouldn't. Because there's going to be a lot of the Bastion quest that will require you to upgrade building that at some point they will stack. Now, they fix the Bastion quest and every time you skip a quest, it gives you a totally different one. But you might just want to stack a little bit the building one and then when you upgrade the building boss, you're going to spend speed ups anyway to upgrade one of these buildings. So you're just going to save up a couple of quests and a couple of times you can do this with the crystal mine. The crystal mine to get it to 25, I would say in the first 10 days is going to help you a lot because the hourly crystal workload, 8000, that's going to help you enormously like and really really a lot you generate so many crystals a day just from this crystal mine is beyond imagining so definitely get the the crystal mine to 25 in the first week i would say i said 10 days but probably in the first week get it to 25 you get a lot of pop-up bundles as well and that will help you big time as part of the research center i think up to 20 at the beginning and then just keep increasing it as it's going to keep requiring you a different level of the crystal research center that's the way to do it but this one i will see on my main i might get it straight to 22 on the first few days because like i said it's cheap to upgrade it and those pop-up bundles is really good that's probably going to be the strategy that i might do on my main account when um, i'm going in heroic anthem this one also helps a lot i will say that this should be like the minimum that you should spend because it also gives you 50% crystal mine work speed. This helps you so much throughout the heroic anthem. I mean, as free to play as you want to be, but if you really want to enjoy heroic anthem, then at least this. I'm not sure if this was five or 10. I believe it was a $5 or a $10, maybe five. It was two months ago to, to tell you the truth, but it's really worth it. 
you do get a lot of crystals on those packs, but the 50% crystal mine work speed is tremendous. Right now, if I go onto my uh, crystal mine over here, it tells you from the season supply obtainable from buying premium season crystal supply in the Bastion boost 160%. And this Bastion boost, I got it through what? One and a half month playing in Heroic Anthem. And that's like three times from the season supply. And the season supply, you can get it from straight off right when you get in Heroic Anthem. So that's pretty much about this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know the crystal tech is hurtful and is painful for some of them, but I did get some reports from some free to play players saying that they were able to acquire almost two full blueprints as free to play. I'm not sure how true or not true is that. I just showed you what I got through 98 pounds of spending. But the point being that even as free to play, you can acquire things and you can get some crystal tech done. Until next time, this is your boy Johnny signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you next one, and stay safe out there, my friends.